Thank you, Jason, um, Stanley, and uh, Sanders Law Firm, who I've also worked with uh, for a number of years. Um, my name is Jonathan Klee. Uh, I'm a founding partner of the law firm of Klee & Wolf. Our office specializes in workers' compensation and social security disability. Uh, we have three offices, uh, one in Mineola, one in Cedarhurst, and one in Brooklyn. And our firm pretty much covers workers' compensation cases uh, from Poughkeepsie down. Uh, meaning we will go to workers' compensation boards in Hopog, Patchog, Riverhead, uh, Staten Island, Manhattan, um, and it's a group of five attorneys, uh, three partners and two associates, as well as other associates that we work with. Uh, personal injury and workers' compensation are two different types of law which merge together in many aspects. Um, in a personal injury case, uh, the most important aspect of it is one, the injury, and two, the liability. Whose fault it was? Uh, workers' compensation doesn't work that way. Workers' compensation is a no-fault system. It doesn't matter whose fault it is and why the accident happened. If you get hurt while working, it's workers' compensation, and the workers' compensation carrier for your employer picks up the benefits. If there is a third party which is associated with the workers' compensation case, you can also have a lawsuit, but you cannot sue your employer. That's the one misconception about workers' compensation. Most people feel that when they get hurt at work, I'm bringing a lawsuit. You're not bringing a lawsuit, at least not against your employer. If you're going to bring a lawsuit, it would be against a third party. Now, how can you have a workers' compensation case and a personal injury matter? For example, uh, you work for Federal Express, and you're in a Federal Express truck, and you're driving down the street, and another motor vehicle hits you. You would have a workers' compensation case in which Federal Express's workers' compensation insurance, in this case Sedgwick, which is their um, workers' compensation third-party administrator, would pick up all your medical bills and pick up your lost wages. And then that driver could have a lawsuit against the other driver of the other vehicle. And that's when someone like Mr. Sanders you know, comes into play and a workers' compensation attorney and a personal injury attorney merge together. What's the most important aspects about workers' compensation? You know, where do people run into trouble? Uh, recently, there was just a three-day article in the New York Times, I don't know if you had the opportunity to read it, in which there was a whole expose on the New York State workers' compensation system as far as all the problems with medical providers, uh, for the insurance companies, trying to weave your way through the system, through multiple hearings, uh, and workers' compensation since I've started, which is more than 14, 15 years ago, has just um, been more and more complicated the more years th that have gone by. Um, each year, it, it just seems like it gets tougher and tougher and tougher. Insurance companies now have no problems taking out a video camera and following you around and trying to catch you doing activities um, which they feel uh, is makes your case disingenuous to the fact that you are trying to get benefits when you're really not as hurt as you say you are. Um, what's the advice that I can give you? Um, if you're working and you have an accident at work, the first thing you need to do is report the accident. A lot, many, many times I have clients who will call me up on the telephone and they'll tell me, I was hurt at work and um, a box fell on me and I bruised my arm and I'll say, okay, um, who did you tell? Well, I haven't told anybody. Why? Well, I'm scared to lose my job. Well, did you go and see a medical doctor? No. Why? Because I don't know who's going to pay for it. Uh, how long ago did this happen? Three weeks ago. And, and that's when you run into issues where we have what's called a controverted case because the claimant in that particular case did not follow the proper procedures of what you need to do in order to guarantee that you're going to have a workers' compensation case that an insurance company is not going to object to. So if you get hurt, the first thing you should do is report it to your employer. Make sure that it's in writing. The second thing you should do is go see a medical provider immediately. Even if you don't feel that the injury is that serious, 
Many times the injury becomes serious later on. But the fact that you didn't contemporaneously see a medical provider gives the insurance company an opportunity to say, your accident didn't happen at work. I can't tell you how many times I'll be in a situation where someone will get injured on a Friday and they'll go in on a Monday and report it to where automatically the employer will say, I think you were hurt over the weekend. I don't think you were really hurt on that Friday, even though there were witnesses, even though everyone saw what happened. So when you have a workers' compensation case, the first thing you should do is make sure you report it to your employer, make sure you see a doctor immediately, and also give a proper history when you see the doctor. Make sure you tell the doctor the accident happened at work. Causal relationship. Many times we'll have clients will come in and they'll say they went to the doctor and they'll tell the doctor, well, it happened at home because the doctor wanted to use private health insurance or and they didn't want to feel like dealing with the workers' compensation system. And that's why you need to deal with doctors like Dr. Bernhack because Dr. Bernhack knows the workers' compensation system, knows what to do, and you would never have that type of issue with his office. Um, quickly, I know you've heard a, a couple of speakers, um, but th the other thing I really want to touch on is that there are many different types of work-related accidents or what we call occupational illnesses. You can have your direct trauma accident, which is, of course, your hurt, an orthopedic injury. But in addition to those direct trauma accidents, we've been seeing a lot lately the occupational illnesses, the carpal tunnel cases, the exposures at work, um, as far as to different types of chemicals. And, and in fact, uh, Mr. Sanders referred one of those types of cases to me uh, the other day where uh, someone was exposed to chemicals at work. And in those types of cases also, it's important that you see the proper medical providers, that your cases are documented properly, and that you go seek legal help as far as doing those types of claims. But in many cases, it doesn't hurt just to make a phone call to ask someone, is this workers' compensation? Is this not workers' compensation? Um, and that's the only thing that I would request that you do, is that if you're unsure, just call up and ask yeah, either myself or another attorney in the field. Um, I appreciate you uh, letting me speak to you tonight. I will stay around a little bit if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.